Mario Clayton. Oh, man, you want to touch gloves? Do it now. God bless. Uh, your Dana Sugas, among others, and gone. To some about 30 seconds to figure out why his <laughs> opponent made his performance even better. And, and first, a black world champion in box the first round, and it's a jab fest. Uh, Al, we liked a lot of what we saw to Castillo in the round. Happened at the one minute mark, as in paper, supposed to provide. Yeah, I think he would like to put a dent in that. <laughs> From the lefty yeah. stance. And Ennis has already switched it for him that he win the battle of the jabs. And I, I wouldn't disagree with it. Yeah. This guy, but one thing that you mentioned early on, which is the reach, you know, to come in because he is a great jabber as well. It's called for Clay to, to land that jab from that That reach. was the first against a guy like Jerron Boots Ennis where really see that Ennis already took charge with the jab. Clear conclusion, but I think Al, that's yeah, probably yeah. a technical fighter like Ennis. Great jab. Looking for that counter, looking for that right hook. Number two scheduled for 12 and to really get his punch on. Mm -hmm. And for Jerome Boots, Ennis, uh, it does you can correct me, but I don't think Ennis has lost a single. Nice left to the body by Ennis. Jerome Boots at bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to do that against him. Boxing, a man who eats, breathes, and. Clayton has not been lefty, and this is a little more susceptible to that punctively. He said, there's no plan, I do it when it feels right. And when it punch who he's beaten, but how he's done it. Metronome, I mean, it's just bam, bam, the timing perfect, and now he throws kind of a straight right hand. There's a... He feels like they need to, to change the plan. Oh, right hand! 